Hi, and welcome to Frosha Talks. My name is Michael, and today you will get to know more about the Frosha wheel sensor RSR 110. So let's start with the working principle. The RSR 110 consists of either one or two independent and galvanically separated sensor systems. These generate an electromagnetic field around the wheel sensor. When metallic objects, such as train wheels, approach the RSR 110, the sensor current is affected by a combination of three effects. Eddy current and hysteresis losses, deflection of the magnetic field, and change in inductance. The deviation in current is directly detected by an evaluation unit. Now we know how the RSI 110 works, so let's move on to the technical characteristics. The electronics of the RSI 110 are encased in a glass fiber reinforced plastic housing to protect against environmental influences. It features a pluggable sensor cable with four wires. Each sensor system uses two wires to supply power and transmit the sensor current to the evaluation board at the same time. In case of the RSI 110 with just one sensor system, only wire 1 and 2 are used for further evaluation. Remaining wires 3 and 4 are not connected to the signaling cable, but are isolated in the trackside connection box. The wheel sensor cable comes in lengths of 5, 10 or 25 meters. However, as it is not part of the electronic detection system, it can be cut or extended to the required length. The normal operating current of the RSI 110 is 5 milliamps with a tolerance of plus minus 5%. It is the current when there is no train or metal object in the proximity of the wheel sensor. In the adjustment process, the wheel sensor adjusts itself to the environment automatically. Additionally, the RSI 110 offers an open analog interface, which can be evaluated by third-party evaluation units as well. However, also Frauscher offers a very simple and compact solution for the signal processing in form of the wheel sensor signal converter WSC. The RSR 110 is used commonly for non-vital applications such as various switching tasks, speed measurement, track vacancy detection, switch point protection and many more. To ensure high availability and reliability, it is important to understand the permitted operating conditions of the RSI 110. The RSI 110 has been proven at a maximum speed of 300 km per hour. Theoretically, even higher speeds of up to 450 km per hour are possible. As you can imagine, Frosher wheel sensors, which are installed worldwide, operate at extreme weather conditions. They are designed to withstand temperatures from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees Celsius. With an ingress protection rating of IP68, the RSI 110 is protected against constant immersion in water, which is a decisive feature for a robust wheel sensor. The RSI 110 is resilient to common track return currents and successfully tested in accordance with relevant standards. Due to its technical design, the RSI 110 is compatible with eddy current brakes and can be installed on tracks where those are used. In conclusion, the RSR 110 is a reliable and flexible wheel sensor which is the perfect choice for non-vital railway applications. Thank you guys for tuning in again and see you in the next episode of Frosher Talks.